Sure. Joining us right now is the Heritage Foundation Senior Fellow and former Wall Street Journal Asia Deputy Editor. He's based in Hong Kong and his Mike Gonzalez is with us. Mike, it's good to have you. Thanks so much for joining us. It's great seeing you uh, too, Maria. Yeah, I mean, uh, what's your take on all of this? China well, made I'm a promise to Hong Kong uh, with the handoff that Hong Kong would have autonomy. And it feels like China is breaking its promise again. That's right. We're seeing a series of broken Chinese promises over many things, over uh, intellectual property right, China's signatory to the international, uh, uh, you know, uh, declaration of human rights. It's violated that. And now it's violating what it agreed to in the uh, joint declaration in the 1980s with Britain. Uh, I was very happy to see such a large turnout, like over a quarter of the population of Hong Kong turned out, as you very well put it, despite the rain. Uh, and this is, it, it, it was, I was very happy also because it was a peaceful demonstration. Over the last couple of weeks, we have seen a very small minority uh, destroying private property of the demonstrators, small minority of the demonstrators. Yesterday was very peaceful. Uh, it was 1.7 million people in a city of 7.3, despite the rain and despite a police ban. So it is very clear that the people of Hong Kong are against this, this bill to uh, extradite people to the People's Republic of China because the People's Republic of China does not have the rule of law. Yeah, and the rule of law is what is at stake here because China is breaking its promises. We've seen this a lot. They've broken their promises for the WTO. They've broken their promises yes. to America, yes. stealing intellectual property. Yes. What is your view in terms of what you want to see from the United States right now? Anybody on the panel here? I think the United States has to really stay strong right now. And, and, I, and support protesters. Absolutely. Yeah. You know, I think in some ways, though, the president's doing the right thing by trying to take a sideline here because you don't want to have this position that he's going to be taking, you know, have impact on some of the other things that are, are of our concerns about tariffs and the trade conversation. So we're really walking a very, very fine line on what you do. So I think in some ways what he's doing is smart by trying to take a sideline here. But it's very hard not to say, you know, as Americans that we're not going to take the side of of Hong Kong I mean, here. frankly, Mike, do you think the Hong Kongers will ever really get the chance to vote for the leader, the next leader of Hong Kong? Yes, it can happen. And by the way, uh, on, the, on the previous point, uh, Vice President Mike Pence met with Jimmy when Jimmy was here in Washington about three weeks ago. Uh, this Jimmy Lai. So yes, of course, there's no reason why the people of Hong Kong should be able to elect the chief executive. The reason that the chief executive has made such a blunder, Carrie Lam, in, 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 try, in putting this law on the table, is that she does not need to seek the consent of the governed. So she is detached from the people of Hong Kong. She made a huge error here. I see. 